So get rid of all the filth and evil in your lives and humbly accept the message God has planted in your hearts. For it is strong enough to save your souls. And remember, it is a message to obey, not just to listen to. If you don't obey, you are only fooling yourself. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. If anyone considers himself religious and yet does not keep a tight rein on his tongue, he deceives himself and his religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Ah. My brothers, as believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ, don't show favoritism. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in shabby clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, here's a good seat for you, but say to the poor man, you, Stand there, <laughs> sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my dear brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised those who love him? But you have insulted the poor. Is it not the rich who are exploiting you? Are they not the ones who are dragging you into court? Are they not the ones who are slandering the noble name of him to whom you belong? If you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. But if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. For whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. For the same God who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not murder. So if you murder someone, you have broken the entire law, even if you do not commit adultery. So whenever you speak or whatever you do, remember, that you will be judged by the law of love, the law that sets you free. Because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to him, Go, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about his physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Now, someone may argue, some people have faith, others have good deeds. I say, I can't see your faith if you don't have good deeds, but I will show you my faith through my good deeds. Do you still think it's enough just to believe that there is one God? Well, even the demons believe this and they tremble in terror. You foolish man, do you want evidence? that faith without deeds is useless? Was not our ancestor Abraham considered righteous for what he did 
when he offered his son Isaac on the altar, you see that his faith and his actions were working together, and his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. And he was called God's friend. You see that a person is justified by what he does, and not by faith alone. In the same way, was not even Rahab the prostitute considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction? For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. Thank you. Ah, thank you. We have 15 minutes today, but uh, you can see that whole drama that we filmed on location on, on YouTube. Just go to Tommy's Sides. You can see the whole thing, all five chapters. This was just two chapters. Thank you, and God bless you all. Yeah. 